Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's stand tonight. Amen. Start this service off with prayer. We need God to help us. Amen. We want God to bless this revival. Man, these, these next few services are crucial for somebody. We want somebody to leave here full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Help us pray right now. God will bless. Lord, we love you, Jesus. We need you, God. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Help us, Jesus. God, we love you, Jesus. We praise you, God. Ask you to help us tonight, God. Lord, we need you, God. We need you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. We praise you. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Jesus 
shine down on me. Let your love shine through me in the night. Lead me, Lord, I'll follow anywhere you open up the door. And let your word speak to me. Show Lord, I see a world that's dying, wounded by the master of deceit, and groping in the darkness, haunted by the years of past defeat. your love shine through me in the night. Hallelujah. Lead me, Lord, I'll follow anywhere you open up the door. And let What's wrong in me? tonight. God, we praise you, Lord.
nights I lay my burdens down. Well, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Well, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Well, I feel better, so much better, since I lay my burdens down. I feel better, so much better since I lay my burdens down. Well, thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you. Help me lay my burdens down. Well, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Help me lay my burdens down. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, help me lay my burdens down. Well, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, help me lay my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Well, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Jesus, help me lay my burdens down. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help me lay my burdens down. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Since I laid my burdens down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help me lay my burdens down. Well, I'm on my way to heaven. I'm on my way to heaven since I laid my burdens down. I'm on my way to heaven. Yes, I'm on my way to heaven since I laid my burdens down. Well, I'm on my way to heaven, I'm on my way to heaven, since I lay my burdens down. I'm on my way to heaven, yes, I'm on my way to heaven, since I lay my burdens down. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down.
Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you've got your burdens put away? Somebody has taken them off of your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord has set you free. How many is thankful for the Holy Ghost tonight? Oh, he set me free. 
set me free. He broke the bond of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Glory to God, he set me free. Oh, he set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bond of prison for me. And I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Glory to God, he set me free. Now I am climbing higher each day. The darkness of night has drifted away. My feet are planted on higher ground. And glory to God, I'm homeward bound. For he set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bond of prison for me. And I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see and glory to God. He set me free, yes, he set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bond of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Glory to God, he set me free. Well, I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. And glory to God, he set me free. Hallelujah, Lord, we love you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Come on, he broke the chains. He set us free, praise the Lord. He brought us up out of the miry clay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. lifted me I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me glory hallelujah Jesus lifted me well I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. I was sinking down, but Jesus lifted me. I was sinking down, but Jesus lifted me. I was sinking down, but Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. Oh, I was sinking down, but Jesus lifted me. I was sinking down, but Jesus lifted me. I was sinking down, but Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. Yes, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Oh, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. Well, Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Oh, Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. Oh, Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Oh, Satan had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. 
in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. Yes, I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Oh, I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. When I was as in sin, Jesus lived in me. When I was in sin, Jesus lived in me. When I was in sin, Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. When I was in sin, Jesus lived in me. When I was in sin, Jesus lived in me. When I was in sin, Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. Oh, I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. Oh, I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Oh, I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. Well, I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad that Jesus lived in me. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus lived in me. Lord, we love you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king and he's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Well, he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. He set my feet on straight street and got me going right for he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Well, he gave me a song that the angels cannot sing. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God, I've been redeemed for he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. Yes to the Lord, for he's a great king, he's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord, for he's a great king, he's doing great things. 
My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Well, I've been tested and I've been tried. I've been to the water and in his name I've been baptized. He's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes. Love him right now. He's worthy. God, we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We love you, Jesus. God, we praise you, Lord, right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you, God. You're worthy. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord, for he's a great king, he's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. Well, he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. He set my feet on straight street and now I'm walking right because he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says 
soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. Well, I've been tested and I've been tried. I've been to the water and I've been baptized because he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. Great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Well, He gave me a song that the angels cannot sing. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God, I've been redeemed for He's a great King. Yes, He's doing great things. Soul says yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord, for he's a great king, he's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Well, I've been tested and I've been tried. I've been to the water and I've been baptized, for he's a great king. Oh, he's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Well, he brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. He set my feet on straight street. Now I'm walking right, for he's a great king. Yes, he's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes, 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 yes to the Lord. He brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. He set my feet on straight street. And now I'm walking right because he's a great king. And he's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes. soul says yes to the Lord. Well, he gave me a song that the angels cannot sing. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God, I've been redeemed because he's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes. He's a great king. He's doing great things. My soul says yes to the Lord. Well, I've been tested and I've been tried. I've been to the water and I've been baptized. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. Yes, my soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. My soul says yes to the Lord. For he's a great king. He's doing great things. My 
soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We love you, G. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody willing to say yes? Hallelujah. Lord, we love you, Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God. Well, I'm, I'm already feeling good. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's, it's hard to stop. Mighty God, mighty God. Well, how many know it's real? Yeah. It is real. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So glad to be back in church tonight. Amen. From all of our journeying, we've been to Mississippi and back. And uh, had a good time at Brother Parks. Uh, wonderful meeting, good preaching. And uh, good time of fellowship with uh, Brother John Parks, Jr., Amen. I am honored to have friends uh, like him and many others as well. We got some more friends here tonight. Amen. Brother McCool and his family. Of course, he's going to be preaching for the next uh, uh, several services. Uh, uh, and so we want to, uh, we just want to have revival. Amen. So glad to have our visitors here and uh, glad to see Brother David. Glad to have you back. John, good to see John. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And uh, so glad he's coming. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, God's got a blessing for me. God's got a blessing for you. Yeah. Amen. God's got a blessing for him. God's got a blessing for her. Yeah. Amen. God knows what we need. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Well, hallelujah. And so I'm so glad that the weather's warmer than it was last week. <laughs> Amen. And uh, terrible ice. I don't know if y'all had any, but we had plenty, plenty to go around. But thank God it's it's warmer, and uh, I think spring is around the corner. And uh, we need to uh, remember uh, Brother Duell and Sister Jimmy tonight. The Lord is still working on them and strengthening their body. Amen. Brother Duell is uh, still weak from um, um, the uh, things that's going on in his body. Of course, I feel like he might have a touch of the cold or flu uh, a week or two back, and he's just not having uh, uh, an easy time recovering. We also need to pray for Brother Aaron. Uh, he's not feeling well tonight. Had a terrible um, problem uh, spell last night with whatever's going on in his body, and uh, we believe God's a healer. He can touch us tonight, amen, touch these that are yeah, having needs in their bodies. Amen. And God can give you and I strength and rest. Amen. I don't know what God's going to do uh, in this service tonight or the service tomorrow or Friday night, you know, uh, but I do want God to have his way. I'd love to see a miracle. I would definitely love to see our young people full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, uh, and I'd love to baptize somebody this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, uh, that's what it's about. We just got to get them in here and baptize them, amen. Get them full of the Holy Ghost. Um, I tried to reach out to uh, uh, Joe, uh, Eddie Joe, and uh, haven't been successful. Maybe y'all will tell him I've been reaching out to him. Um, he said texting was the best way. Uh, but of course that didn't hasn't worked so far, so maybe he just has his ringer turned down or off or buzzer or something. But anyway, need to go in and check on him. Amen. Praise the Lord. So uh, we just got to keep praying for him. Get him in here. I know he prayed really good the other night, and he was up here on the front row just crying. 
and uh, praying, worshiping God, and uh, and so I know that the Lord's hands on him. I'm sure he's got problems. We all got problems, and God's working on me. He's working on you. Uh, he's working on all all of us, and uh, whatever whatever habits, whatever whatever problems, whatever weaknesses or sins or faults or failures, uh, that's all in the hands of God. Amen. He'll work it out. Praise the Lord. Main thing, we just got to make sure they know they got to have the Holy Ghost. And they've got to be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, that's just the truth of it. Brother Joy, if you'll help us uh, take up the offering tonight, we'll get that out of the way. And uh, we want to give this evangelist plenty of time tonight uh, I'm good at taking up your time so I'm going to try to get out of the way and uh, uh, I'm assuming we need to pray for Sister Harrington and Sister Anna well, I'm trying to get better um, it's, I know it was loud it was hurting mine too so but I didn't, I don't know where, I, I just turned it up. I don't know where you, you normally set it, but I just turned it up. Was y'all feeling cranked up in here tonight? Woo. Well, Hannah felt it, amen, I felt it, amen. But anyway, so we'll try to do better on that, maybe get it, but anyway, praise the Lord. How many is glad to have Brother McCool? Y'all ready for some preaching? Amen. Amen. And singing or whatever. Uh, whatever y'all want to do. I know the girls sing. Amen. And uh, so we'll uh, we'll let them uh, testify and preach and sing and uh, just obey God. I want God to minister to me. Speak to me. Amen. Amen. I've got some prayer requests. I've got some situations that I'd like to see God work out. Amen. We've been praying uh, for certain things for a while now, and I'd like to see God move. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember, I forgot to mention my mother. She's not feeling uh, tip-top shape right now. I don't. She's struggling with um, her. Her. Uh, she's just weak from uh, her legs. Just she said, feel like jello. You can't hardly stand on them. And I'm, I'm assuming it's from all the treatments or whatnot. But um, anyway, she may be here um, tomorrow or Friday night. Amen. And I'll. She'll stay with me the weekend. So that she can be here for the rest of it without having to drive back home in the dark. But anyway, we do need to keep her in our prayers. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to uh, get this good brother up here, evangelist up here to preach, Brother McCool. And uh, y'all just obey the Lord, sing, testify, whatever you want to do. Amen. Everybody say, Lord, bless him tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. So good to be here. In the house of God tonight, amen, you want to sing tonight, amen, as they're getting ready, amen, we're always looking forward, amen, to coming back here to Clara, amen, why, because you people know how to have church, amen, and we like to have good, solid, Holy Ghost church, amen, and I tell you, uh, appreciate good friends, brother and sister Smith, amen, y'all have a good pastor, Amen. I tell you, amen. The Lord's coming. Amen. And I want to be ready when he comes tonight. Amen. Y'all, y'all worship with them as they sing tonight.
what the Lord has done. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? I'm thankful for what we feel already in the house of God tonight. Man, you know, I want somebody to leave full of the Holy Ghost tonight. Man, I want to leave full of the Holy Ghost again tonight. Man, the book of John tonight, reading, man, book of John, chapter number 14, man, verses 1 through 3 tonight, man, book of John 14, verse number 1. I don't know about you, but I feel something stirring in the Holy Ghost tonight. Man. It says, verse number one, it said, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Right. In my Father's house so many mansions. Yeah. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I prepare a place for you. I will come again. And receive you into myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Man, can we just begin to pray tonight? Lord, we love you. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for what you've already done. We thank you, Lord, for what we feel in the house tonight. Oh, we're so desperately needing the move of the Holy Ghost in this house today. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We magnify you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You can be seated tonight. Man, as we begin to get prepared for this revival, man, I, I had something else to preach, Brother Smith, and then Tuesday night the Lord uh, directed my attention to this, and I, I, I want to preach about soon coming of the Lord. Man, we don't have a whole lot of time here on earth. Because Jesus is coming. Amen. We've all, man, from uh, ever since I was raised in the house of God, we've always heard it that Jesus is coming. But you know what? I feel, amen, and you, you, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out, that, amen, all the things that's in the world, amen, is just the fulfillment of the Lord's coming. Amen. But I want you to know, hey, amen, we need to be ready, amen, before the Lord comes. Amen. I want our children, amen, to, to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. I pray that our kids will have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I, as we was driving up here today, I said, I begin to think about the little kids. Amen. What joy would it be tonight if every one of them left full of the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. It's got to be a heartbeat today. Amen. Lord, if you never bless me again, fill the little ones with the Holy Ghost. Ah, amen. God, if you never bless me again, we got loved ones. We got little kids. Amen. Yes, they come and they may not understand it, but you know what? I believe that God can fill the little people with the Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm here to tell you tonight that we must start thinking tonight. Amen. That Jesus, amen, is soon to return tonight. Amen. Jesus is going to come. Amen. Whether we're ready or not. He's coming. Amen. We always played that game hide and seek. Amen. Ready or not, I'm coming. If you if you're not here in a good spot, I'm coming and I'm looking for you. Amen. God saying tonight, hey, I'm soon to return up here on the earth. And we need to be ready when the Lord comes. Amen. You know what? I don't care if I ever preach a, a, a offensive message or not. Amen. I believe today that uh, we got this mentality. Amen, Brother Smith. If I can just preach them happy Amen. We're doing all right. Amen. But the souls that's dying lost on a pew tonight, and they need to know, hey, the Lord's coming again. And if they're not ready, I want everybody to be ready. I want everybody to leave full of the Holy Ghost. Hey, the Lord's coming. Are you ready tonight? 
Hallelujah. At the rapture. Amen. All the saints will be taken away. Amen. After seven years of the tribulation at the battle of Armageddon, the Lord will physically return to the earth. We must focus on the fact that Jesus is coming back soon. Many of these signs we discuss, we refer to the rapture. And some will refer to the second coming. Amen. We are living in the last days and Jesus is coming. You say, how are we living in the last day? Oh, my, my, my. The world is getting more wicked than it ever was before. Amen. The pastor all the time says it. Amen. If the Lord don't change anything, he's going to have to apologize to what he did to Sodom and Gomorrah. Why? Because the devil was running rapid. Amen. He's showing himself today. I'm here to tell you tonight, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you need to have the Holy Ghost. If you're not living for God tonight, you need to make it up in your mind tonight. Hey, I'm starting a brand new leaf. I don't want to die lost. I don't want to go to a hell. I don't want to burn to die in the knowing hey, I had every right. I had every opportunity to make my soul right with God. Amen. Who said that Jesus is coming again? Amen. It said, John said it just before he was betrayed and died upon the cross. Angels had declared it. Amen. Acts 1 and 11 says, which also said, ye man of Galilee, why ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus was taken up from you into heaven. Amen. So shall come in the likeness and you've seen him and go into heaven. Hey, if you're not ready, uh, Jesus is going to come anyway. Uh, if we're not ready, Jesus is still going to come. Amen. Jesus has given us time and time, opportunity after opportunity to make it right with God. I want you to know tonight, amen, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. I got a mansion made up in heaven for me. Hey, I just want to tell you a little bit what heaven's going to be like. It's going to be streets of gold. It's going to be perfect the gates, walls of Jasper. Hey, there's not going to be any more sorrow. There's not going to be any more pain. Hey, he's going to wipe away every tear from my eye. Hey, heaven's going to be wonderful, and I want you to go with me. I want to take somebody with you. you got to have the mental. Hey, Jesus is coming soon. Uh, Could it be tonight? Could it be tomorrow? I just want to make, amen, I just want to make myself ready. I want to make myself available. That's why the Bible said that I die daily. I'll sacrifice. Say, God, if there's anything in me that don't belong, take it out and set me free. Hey, if it don't, if it's not pleasing to you, God, I don't want to have it in me. Oh, my, my, my. We're living in a world today. You just preach them happy. Yeah, you'll grow a church. You might grow a church, but we got sinners on a pew and they're leaving sinners. Hey, it's all right to tell them, hey, amen. There's a heaven and there's a hell. Hey, there's a destiny that you're going to spend for eternity. And I want to take you. I want you to go to heaven with me. I don't want you going where hell, where the fire never dies. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It says in 1 Thessalonians, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. Then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to meet the Lord. Uh, You know what? I'm glad I don't fit in with the world. I'm thankful that I don't fit in with the world. 
Hallelujah. Amen. It said, therefore, comfort one another with these words. Hey, amen. I'm glad that this word is not my home. I'm just a passing through, and I'm trying to make it to heaven, and I want to take some people with me and say, hey, there's a better life. There's a better life in your sorrow. There's a better life in the hell that you're living. Hey, there's joy unspeakable and full of glory when you're living for the Lord. Yeah, we're going to go through trials and tribulations. Amen. But you know what I read? I live for God. Amen. And fighting the hell on earth than to live for the devil and think I got it all made. Amen. There are some who would argue. People said that Jesus will return for centuries and he still hasn't. They've given up hope. They've turned their back on God and said Christianity is fake. They fool the Himself. God has given us signs for Israel and signs for the whole world that Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just I'm just giving you what the Lord's given me tonight. Saying, hey, amen. Jesus is soon to return. He can turn tonight. It might be next week. It might be next year. But hey, I want to walk to right. I want to walk, amen, to straight, amen, the way. I want to say, hey, every day that I live, God, if there's anything in me that's not pleasing to you. Take it out, God. Amen. Take it out, God. Amen. Amen. You know what? The world knows if we're real or not. Amen. The world knows if we're real or not. Amen. The Bible said that they're going to know us by our fruit. Amen. I got the thing about it. When we grow a garden, we just didn't go out there and till up a piece of ground and throw the seed on there and just let it be and expecting something to grow. Amen. But Brother Smith, we planted a garden. We got out there and we tilled the ground. We put the seed in. We put water on it. We nursed it. We got the weeds out and it started growing. We got a make sure it has enough sunlight enough shade and we tend to it that's just like how we're living for God we pray every day we read about what we're doing is amen we're taking care of our garden tonight Hallelujah. They're going to know us by fruit. Amen. I work with a guy. Amen. That he's, he's in the UPC. He's supposed to be a preacher. Amen. But, 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 but the people at work can tell the difference between me and him. I'm not giving myself any glory. I'm just giving God all the glory. Amen. The other day, people out there in the world were singing their songs at work. And this guy just got a lot right along with them and began to sing the songs with them. I'm thinking, my Lord. Amen. And one lady said, how does he know these songs? And one guy said, well, he's not always after what he says he is. I want to be what I say I am. I want to be who I say I am. God, if there's anything that's in me that don't belong, take it out, God. Why? Because above all else, I got to make it. Above all else, we got to be saved. Hallelujah. I'm tired of all the fancy messages, and that's all right. But it's time that we get back to the basics of living for God. We can't play patty cake with Jesus. We're Jesus is soon to return. And if you ain't right with God, tonight is the best night to get right with God. Hallelujah, you young people. Amen. That you can leave full of the Holy Ghost tonight. You young ladies, you young man, you can leave full of the Holy Ghost tonight. You say, well, if I can just get this age. Let me tell you, God can feel three and four and five year old with the Holy Ghost. And he can feel you with the Holy Ghost. 
I want my babies to have the Holy Ghost. I want the little kids in church to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I don't know why I got so strong on the way up here that God said, hey, you let them young people know, hey, if they want the Holy Ghost tonight, that they can leave full of the Holy Ghost. And we got to have some adults and brothers and sisters say, hey, I'm going to encourage you. If you want the Holy Ghost, you can leave full of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because the Lord is soon to return. I don't want to be right with God. I don't want to claim something that I'm not. Uh, I don't want to say I'm this. And everybody out there in the world says, no, he's different. He ain't, a, he ain't all out to claim what he is. Hey man, my boss, one of my boss, main bosses, hey man, he almost died of COVID. Hey man, instead of, hey man, he was sick. Hey man, one of the other bosses came to me. They said, hey, we're going to have a, a, this is the first time it ever happened. They said, we're going to all gather around and we want you to say a prayer for him. Hey man, I was like, man, and, and the other guy's like, well, why, why ain't they asking me? I said, I don't know, but but uh, they're going to know it's by fruit. They're going to know it's by fruit. Hey, Amen. I'm here to tell you today, every day that I go to work, I say, God, I want to be that light. Hey, Amen. I want to be that light. So just maybe, maybe that somebody, that I could win somebody to the to the Lord. Well, I, want, I don't want anybody to die lost. I don't want anybody to die and go to hell. Hey, Amen. But I want everybody to go to heaven. It ought to be our heartbeat and say, hey, I'm not just going to go to heaven by myself. Amen. But I want to carry people with me. I want my mom. I want my brothers. I want my sister. I want the neighbor. I want the person down the road to go to heaven with me. Why? Because the Lord is coming soon and very soon. Man, soon and very soon. Amen. Second Timothy 3 and 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Amen. You know what? Perilous times are here. They are here. And they are upon us. And we got to be Christians. We got to be who we say we are. Amen. We, we can't be playing games with God anymore. Why? Because the Lord is coming soon. Oh, the Lord is coming soon. And I want to be ready when he comes tonight. Hallelujah. 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 It said, for man shall be lovers on their own self, covenants, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful and unholy. Without a natural reflection, truth bracers, false accusers. Amen. It goes on and gives a list. And it says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. For such turn away. It seems like in this hour that we're living in, we're losing more than what we're gaining. We're losing more than what we're gaining. And I'm thinking, Lord, what is going on? The devil can paint you a pretty picture and tell you, look what all that's out there. Look what all I got to offer you. Amen. But he won't tell you all the pain and all the misery and all the sorrow that you have out there. Amen. I'm here to tell you today, uh, it's not always going to be a better rose that's living for God, but I'm glad I'm still in the house of God. I'm glad I'm still in the church. I don't want to buy the truth and, and sell it for some. Amen, but man, we was at up Silver Dollar City last year and it was their Southern Gospel Week and we were sitting there and we was listening to the music and my wife, she said, what is that scripture? It says having a form of God and I said, but denying the power thereof. They have a form of God. They can dress the part, but they're denying the Holy Ghost. 
You say, how, how in the world can they dress right and deny the power? Hey, they, they got the outside all right, but all the inside. I'm here to tell you, hey amen, don't worry about the outside. You got to worry about the inside first. Because if you get it on the inside, it's going to show up on the outside. We got people today that's preaching as long as you got it in the inside, it's all right. Friend of mine, I'm here to tell you today, if you got it on the inside, it's going to come up on the outside. Hallelujah. Amen. And then it says, verse 6 is for, for this sort. Are they which creep into houses and led silly women led with sin, led away with divers lust? And when I went back home after that, and we, we we discussed it with my daughters, and 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 I did a little uh, research about uh, uh, the silly women. Uh, the, that means just means that they're more gullible. The Bible said that the woman is the weaker vessel. It means that they're, amen, when the devil sees them at their weaknesses, amen, he's more out to get them. He's more out to say, hey, it's all right to do a little bit of this. It's all right to do a little bit. Hey, but friend of mine, hey, we're living in the last days, and, and God is soon to return. And I want to be right with God. Above all else, I've got to be saved if I never have thousands of dollars in my bank account as long as I know that my name has been written in the Lamb's book of life. As long as it says, well done, my good and faithful servant, that's all that matters to me. I don't want to hear him say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. The portion in the word of God, it said that they had eaten in his presence. They had taught in his streets. And then he's going to say, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never knew. And you say, God will do that. God don't do that to anybody. You make the choices by yourself. God is a gentleman. Mark 13 and verse number 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. To the end, the same shall be saved. I don't want to make it in a halfway in the race and throw him the towel and said, boy, I gave it a shot. I just want to throw up my hands and just give up. Has there ever, I know there's been times that we feel like giving up, but God, I know there's times that we didn't want to come to church. I know there's times that we didn't want to do what we're supposed to do. But you know what? We made up in our mind, hey, I'm going to do it regardless. Why? Because I've got to make heaven my home. Above all else, I've got to be saved. You young people, your mama can't do it for you. Your daddy can't do it for you. Your pastor can't do it for you. You're the only one that can say, hey, at an early age, I want to have the Holy Ghost. I want to have a walk with God. Hey, 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 you, you say, well, I don't know if I can. Yeah, you can have a walk with God. You can have a walk with God. Man, wouldn't it be awesome? These young people get the Holy Ghost this week. And it'll bring a revival. You say, well, a lot of people say, well, uh, I don't think God can use young people. This look what, oh, don't give me that garbage. God can use anybody. Amen. God can use anybody. Hey, I want these young people to know, hey, that they can have the Holy Ghost today. Jesus said his signs that the end is near. Uh, nas nas uh, disasters, uh, amen, are everywhere. Wars are breaking out. Uh, amen. Oh, you say, well, well, I don't know. I know that God is coming. Whether we ready or not, he's going to come. Amen. It says, Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity shall be abound, the love of many shall wax cold. 
I don't ever want to wipe cold. There were some of the signs that were in the last days. Jesus is coming soon. We must be careful to realize, though, that God did not give us these signs so we can just write them down in a calendar. But as we can be ready, the last days are upon us and we need to weigh carefully the times. Look at him who is above all the times. Hey, amen. Christopher Columbus said he was sure that the world would end by 1656. Man, in the 1800s, a Christian man named William Miller said, I am fully convinced somewhere between March 21st, 1843 and March 21st, 1844 that Christ will return. When Miller Day came and went, hundreds of people walked away from God. The Bible warns us that these are the signs to watch for. When we see them begin to take place, Jesus will soon return. So we better be ready. Uh, if Christians of the past saw the signs, how much more as we in our day, how soon would Jesus come after these, uh, these signs? He said, Behold, I come quickly. Jesus will come soon. And quickly. I don't know about you, but I want to be ready when it comes. I don't know about you, but I want everybody to be ready. I don't want to have this mentality. As long as I got my family saved, that's all right. But it's got to be our heartbeat. God, let me win somebody to the Lord. God, let me, let me, let my daughters, let, let my sons uh, get the Holy Ghost tonight, God. Amen. It's it got to be our heartbeat when sinners come into the house of God. God, when they come, let them leave full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let them be full of the Holy Ghost. God, let me leave full of the Holy Ghost. Because if we ain't full of the Holy Ghost, self rises up. Man, if we ain't full of the Holy Ghost. Hey, I'll be honest with you. Uh, my wife can tell if I hadn't prayed. Just be honest. Why? Because self rises up. Man, that's when we go find ourselves a place to pray. You see, God, uh, uh, self done rised up again. Is there any way that you can forgive self tonight? Hey, I don't want to offend God. Oh, if we can just stand, I'm closing tonight. Man, you young people know, I want you to know that you can leave full of the Holy Ghost. And before this revival is over with, it's got to be our heartbeat, God. God fills somebody with the Holy Ghost. Why? Because God is soon to return. And we need to be ready when he comes. Come on, let's begin to lift our hands and begin to worship him tonight. Pray. Oh, we got to have you tonight, Jesus.
Spirit speaks to me. 
your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart i'll agree and my answer will be yes oh yes i'll say yes lord yes to your will and to your way i'll say yes Trust you. 